What's this little little weasel doing in here? Let's see how that's. Oh man, it's so, got some uh, druzy looking crystals in here. Look at the little beast. His natural habitat. I see you, otter, wagging that tail. So nice. Hey, what's up everybody? Will here from Will Brown Art. Today we are going off into the forest, to a beautiful forest, an amazing forest that I've discovered in the past. There's also a river there that I want to check for some jade, some nephrite, some jadeite, um, and uh, some other stones and minerals, rocks, and things that I am uh, curious to see if they're in that in that expanse of river. We got little Otter here. He's ready to go. I've been working like crazy uh, with my part-time job and then doing tons of stuff on my health stuff and going to the dentist and just working on the tiny home, working on paintings, working on videos, and I desperately just need to step away and my soul has just been craving going and hanging out here. And so that's what we're doing today, you guys. Thanks so much for joining me and welcome to this awesome adventure let's go buddy you ready you guys want to see him look at him sprawled out on his comfy blanket is this your bed all right guys little otter and I made it and we're at the spot where I'm parked and I'm packing everything up and we're about to head into the forest here and go kick it by this river and see what we can see. Tell them. He's so ready, you guys. We haven't been on an adventure in far too long, huh? And you're an adventure dog. Good boy. This big beast, big old boulder. Looks like calcite, something running through here. Yeah, it looks like calcite. Pretty cool. Otter, come here. Come on. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. You listen, good dog. Come on, this way. We gotta get the camera, remember the camera? I know, you wanna run free and wild, I know. Good boy, Otter, good boy. Okay, so what we're gonna try to do, the spot I like to go is over here and off in this forest. So we're gonna go check that out. Oh, you making it, buddy? Good boy. Ah. Oh, the moss. My friends. Oh yeah. Oh, I love this little chunk of forest right here. It's so deep.
so swampy in here. Oh, don't sink. Wow, look at this. Would you look at this? I can smell them. Beautiful conks. Hey, hey, come here. Wait one second, dude. I need a companion to help me keep an eye on Otter. Where are you, honey Otter? Look at this tree, guys. Let me zoom in on it. See all these little fungi growing on here? They go all the way up. There's a patch up here. Look at that. This tree is just infected with orange fungi. I forget the name of it. But it's pretty cool stuff. Look how beautiful these are. Spread out on this log. Really rich, nice, vibrant color to them. Holy crap. This is gorgeous. Otter, come here. Good boy. You listen, I can't let you get eaten by a bird, okay? Good boy. Good boy. Okay, you stay with me for a minute. Honestly think this is a great place for meditation. All right guys, right there's my little seat and I'm just gonna strip down, expose myself to the cold weather and meditate for a while. Process a lot of the different emotional trauma and drama, pain and decision makings and life directions and just let go and be in the moment and connected with everything and uh yeah so that's what we're gonna do enjoy this view enjoy this moment and heal
check out this beautiful conch, you guys. I love these. And I actually have one of these inside of my uh, tiny home right now that I've dried out and I'm about to do a YouTube video of me painting the underside of it. The one I have is about that big. So I'm gonna leave this guy here, but he's very beautiful. Nice conk. Okay, Otter, we'll go to our next spot. Look at these beautiful little mushrooms, huh? Really cool. It is nice to be out here training in the wild again and meditating, clearing my head, walking around barefoot in the cold. I've gotten kind of soft just working and sitting and doing art and researching stuff and uh, all the medical things I've been going through as of recently. This is where I need to be. My playground, my hospital. Oh, so healing, so nice. Oh. oh, my feet have gotten soft and squishy. Need to toughen them up. Well, let's head down to the river, maybe take a little swim. Hang out down there, hunt for some rocks. All right, guys, I'm gonna get you some shots underneath the water here. And uh, just do some light training in this today. My feet have been exposed to the cold this whole time, walking through the forest, so I'm pretty damn cold already where my feet are, because they're not used to this right now. It's okay. It's okay. Oh. Oh. What's going on? <laughs> it's okay, I'm all right. I'm all right. <laughs> okay. What is it? You don't want me to go in the water? It's okay, it's okay, Otter. I'm just gonna do this real quick and I'll be just fine, okay? He's, he's telling me it's dangerous. Real quick, real quick. Real quick, we're okay. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. Thank you for trying to save me. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Yes! There it is. I feel so much better now. Alright, I'm gonna put on my boots and my socks and just walk around and hunt for some jade and hang out in this spot for a little bit before I leave. I like it here. This is nice. Okay, hopefully we can spot something really cool here. I was here before and I looked around in this riverbed, but that was like almost two years ago or something. So I know that a lot of these rocks have changed with the, that's so cool. As the river, you know, rises and lowers and floods and it's gonna move all these boulders and shift them and pull new stuff up and tumble them and break stuff apart, opening up all kinds of veins and cavities. Look at that. How cool is that? Look at that. That's awesome, huh? Hell yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. I like it. Might be nice to uh, mess with that a little bit. Polish it or something. I always try to check the quartz just because you know, there's a small chance it could have a vein of gold in there, or just even if it has pyrite, something that's really beautiful and cool looking. And I checked the calcite, because the calcite you can eat away with acid, and then reveal the pyrite formations that are inside of there. So I just kind of keep my eye on it all. Hope for the best. You never know what you'll run into. Is this a big ass beautiful slab of jasper? Okay, that, this is nice, I like this. 
This is something that would be great to cut the face of it off, revealing all that amazing design, and then to polish it real good. That's going on the stump. See this guy? I don't have any of my tools on me right now. Didn't want to haul them through the woods. Ah, it's okay. Yeah, see, this is what I'm seeing in it. So when you get it wet, you kind of get an idea of what it's gonna look like when it's been polished up. And so can you imagine either grinding down or cutting off the face of this, revealing all these crazy looking triangle shapes and colors inside of here, and then polishing that real good so it's like to a mirror finish, and then maybe cutting the bottom off right here with a big rock saw so it stands up, and actually doing both sides because this side is just spectacular too. Holy crap. Come here, Otter. Come look at this, bud. Look how beautiful that is. That's kind of see-through, like agate going through there. Or something. Yeah, we found a good piece today, you guys. I would love just to, I think I might just polish this. Not even cut, this side I might cut. Depends on my saw, too. I might grind this down and then polish this side, and then this side just leave it, because I don't want to take off too much of this. Looks like it goes pretty deep, though, right here. This one does. So I might lose some of these pockets, so I might just grind it slightly, polish that, cut off the bottom, and that'll be a beautiful piece. Let's go, buddy. What's this little, little weasel doing in here? I like it. It's got power to it. Start casting fire spells with something like that. No joke, bro. That's the real deal. Just wanted to show you guys this real fast. I got back to the car. Remember that little one I picked up? It's got some uh, druzy looking crystals in here. Really just a cool piece. Nice, right? I like it. It's not super fancy, but I like it. That big one is just so beautiful. I'll show you that one last time too. Because you can really see how, how awesome it's going to be. When it's all done, if you just look in here and see how that's, oh man, it's all like clear quartz running through here. It's going to be real beautiful. All polished up. Very nice. All right, everybody. So I think it was a successful day. I'm about to hike out of here. I just want to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. A lot more rock hunting videos coming out, adventure videos, painting videos, poetry videos. I do a bunch of that stuff. I'm just a traveling artist on a mission to transform and inspire the world in and through the arts. So thanks so much for joining me today. Also want to give a huge shout out to my sponsor, Crystal Spirit in Tacoma, Washington. If you're into rocks, minerals, and crystals, you'll love checking out their website. I got a link to their website in the description below. And I have some of my art displayed in their shop. And if you tell them that Will Brown sent you, get 10% off discount. So thanks to Crystal Spirit for sponsoring my YouTube channel. And I just want to invite you guys all to check out my children's books and give a huge thanks to my Patreons as well. I'm going to get Otter and I out of here, get some food, relax, edit some video maybe, and hopefully get some painting done today too. I got to work in the morning, so we'll see how much we can get done with the evening still. All right, say goodbye, Otter. Woof, woof, woof. Shake. See you guys later. Bye.